Hi everyone, Sparp here. Continuing the Yu-Gi-Oh! False Bound Kingdom randomizer playthrough. Continuing what is going to be a very long playthrough since there are a lot of missions in this game. And now we get to deal with a person that uses a lot of Dark Magician stuff. Uh, let's check Greedo. Lots of spellcaster teams. Those will be fun for Bakura. Um, the first opponents. Our opponents are starting to outlevel us a bit. Um, well, our opponents are just in a massive mess. Okay, some of the late people are going to get Tristan. Uh, we can have... The first one is going to be one of those. Let's see if we can actually get Joey to switch in. Uh, this team is not too bad to deal with, although the Kana Kabutu special is a very strong special if it has it yet. Oh hey, the Dark Magician is gaining bonus stats now too. Um, no, it doesn't have it special, but it is obnoxious, so it's dying first. And it doesn't have armor, so it's squishier than the beavers. It probably gets a second attack off, though. So I can't quite do 1500 damage in one turn with this team yet. But that's a lot of damage for a level 20 team, so... Well, <clears throat> can go after the one that isn't guarding now. I may be wanting to heal before the next fight, at least a little bit, although this man has 3 AP left, so that would be a bit of waiting. Okay, it has 1 AP left. It's still a lot of waiting. <clears throat> But at least waiting is very quick. Um, you can heal Dark Magician to full. And I'll have Fairy's Gift heal the Kanan a bit. I'm not too worried about Kanan or Fairy's Gift because it's at 1800 HP right now. That's more than the max HP on Kanan. I wish these enemies didn't group up the way they did, though. <clears throat> this is going to be a little bit obnoxious. So they're gonna all show up around the same time. Oops. That was the wrong person. Oh no, that was the right person. Two of these are spellcasters, so... <clears throat> that doesn't have blind yet, right? 
Although the Phantom Dewan probably has Paralyze. Which is a lot more of an issue. Castle Adept and level 3 magic's pretty nasty. Nope, it doesn't have... It's 25, I think. <coughs> oh, I should not have done that. Okay, um, we're going to make sure this Phantom Dewan dies quickly. Oof, it lived. Oh well. This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh yeah, 400 damage. Okay. Time for some crits from me. We're going to kill the Illusionary Gentleman and then probably heal and then kill the Illusionist Faceless Mage. Ah. We'll see what it hits <clears throat> and then heal accordingly. It only takes, like, two hits to kill this thing, so... I don't exactly have to be, uh, critical of my AP usage. Uh, this fight's way more than over in terms of victory, but... Just want to make sure that my next fight... My creatures don't get eviscerated right off the top. Well, that looked like some good leveling. <clears throat> it should, since uh, he's super weak. Now, this is an okay team for me to fight because none of them are dark. So I'm not going to have a problem with the dark energy. But I would rather them not target the Shadow Ghoul. Okay, I'm gonna be safe. I don't want the Shadow Ghoul to just get hit by one creature and then drop below the threshold where they only attack the same gray guy, so... <clears throat> because they think they can kill it. Well, that one waited, which is good for us. Okay, one down, two to go. And they just keep hitting this feral limp. A second wait, huh? Unfortunately, they just have armor, so I don't get to do a ton of damage to them. Hey, you hit the zombie warrior. Probably the least useful one for him to hit, so... I'd like to swap this team out with something else.
because if I don't, some of these are likely to die, and I don't really have the EP this fight to actually heal up. So we'll just try to swap them out real quick. <clears throat> Overall, not too bad. Oh, good. Joey got got in. I didn't... I tried to click on Taya and get her in, but I didn't. Um, yeah, this guy's not going to be too bad for us. Nice. <laughs> we'll go for the illusionary gentleman because it has vastly higher attack than anything else. did almost 300 damage. Well, now I get my turn, and I'm pretty much gonna go three in a row here. So, I think this is... I'm gonna clean up a lot here. Nice. Double kill with Hinotama. It's a very efficient use of AP and it's efficient um everything, basically. Hinotama's still super strong at this point in the game. Giant Max Soldier is really late growing. Unfortunate. Oh man, Joey might be dealing with three people. Um. <clears throat> well, Aqua Dragon, we've already determined, is terrible. Um. Good Summit Megami is pretty solid. Um, super stamina and status guard is good. Um, but I don't have a good way to kill it. Um, and three-headed Greedo is the strongest. And it looks annoying. And it has a really long annoying animation. I should have Hinotama that. That's a mistake. This means I'm saving one, right? Does my MPG have armor? That would be quite rude if it got armor. Nope. No armor. What's with all these level 1 and level 2 magics I've gotten? I'm the randomizer. Um, well, I guess the poor Aqua Dragon got let out to dry by the, by the fairy, so. Uh, 
Uh, this team doesn't have good ways to really heal, so... And I'm going to have to heal this time, I think. At least this needs healed. Um, let's just weight this down. Get rid of the super stam. I, it doesn't matter. We have infinite points. Especially since I think I'm just gonna kill. Oh, come on, super stam. Drop off. There we go. As long as I get this third kill, the points don't matter. Oh, well, it's just dead. That is very dead. I tried. I did it as fast as I could. <laughs> Tons of damage. Um, that gets level 4 magic. Oh, that thing is quite strong at level 26. Hmm, maybe I should have leveled that thing. Yeah, we go for uh, the giant red sea snake. Two more hits and it's dead. We've done a lot of damage already, so... As pretty evident by the score, we've done a lot of damage. Wow, Lord of D was actually faster than the giant mech soldier. Almost surprising. Uh, my biggest worry is actually missing the giant mech soldier a bunch, because I've been dodging a lot with it, so... Oh, wait, it, this can't miss, so... Oh, I'm out of Hinotama, so... I can't use that... But I don't know why I would really want to at this point. It's one target. It's only a little game damage-wise on one target, so not terribly worth it right now. Someday this Meteor B Dragon will actually be good. A day is not today, but someday it will. Okay, um, let's see. Trader. Joey has discount. Hey, it is too. Um, so this guy's annoying. Oh man, that's annoying. He worth a lot of experience though. 
Uh, mirror wall's terrible. Um, so, uh, I'm just gonna throw Espa at, um, throw Espa at them. And if that doesn't work, work out, I will send Taya in. <clears throat> um, Shadow Spell's awful. Uh... I still don't have a Harpy Lady, so let's just grab 10 more Gift of the Mystical Elves. Hopefully Espa does okay. Um, I worry about this having Triple Ray Geki. Man Castle Adept? Oh no. Like, these don't matter, but... <clears throat> the master of the Dunham is Dark Witch over here is, uh, kind of terrifying. I mean, I might just outright die if he were Gekis. But, like, the jellyfish just might die. Period. So... Oof. Um, I mean, I could red medicine the jellyfish, but I have to do a gift of the mystical elf anyways next, so I should have. Rest in peace. Um, to be fair, he might have just actually used the attacks both on dark elf, and then I would have been even sadder, so... <sighs> yeah, forget he's a problem. Yep, um, that is an issue. But this is why we sent in a team to go in first. Its only job is to eat the Rugekis, so... As long as we do that much, we're fine. Ah, uh, sir? Um... Uh... <laughs> Um, okay. I, I mean, honestly, I just helped him out by killing that. Because he might have just double killed his own team if I'd let him live. <clears throat> he definitely helped me um, make sure I could finish him. Unfortunately, this jellyfish isn't going to get much experience out of this. <laughs> because unfortunately, it just died to a Regeki, but... That was kind of expected. Good thing this isn't a permadeath playthrough. Hey, Jellyfish got three experience. Nice. Well, oh, good enough. Let me get a Barrel Dragon instead of the Dark Magician number two. I don't know how good Barrel Dragon is. <clears throat> uh, but we're going to get a bunch of creatures in the next mission, too, so. That'll be nice. Uh, 
Um, well, it looks like it does a lot of damage. <clears throat> but would need some HP. Oh, well. <clears throat> Nothing really cooked up on the teams that did all the fighting. <clears throat> Except for this is now a triple castle adept team. Which that's super strong. How did its HP go back down? Simon. Ah, uh, okay. Um. I continue wanting to get uh, experience on <clears throat> this team because Cosmic Queen's so good, and I really like Cosmic Queen. It's one of my favorite cards. Uh, let's see. This isn't actually that great of a creature, but I mean, its stats make up for it. <clears throat> um, Super Stam on Time Wizard's interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to really solve anything here. Uh, I think we're set up well enough. Um, and I don't really have a good way to put Mako in, so... That's gonna have to do it for today. Um, reminder, for that mission, the only thing you have to really watch out for is the Regekis. Um, and if you have to sacrifice a team to get through it, go, go for it. Uh, anyways, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.